Nico, looking ahead to Monday's game against uh, Cheltenham, just your reflections on the draw against Charlton. Was, did it feel like a, a point gained or two dropped? Um, both. I think we didn't capitalise on a, a very, very good start. We didn't continue to play the way that had shown success and that had given us chances and that had given us complete control. We allowed them to establish their um, physical prowess, I suppose. They were big, they were strong, they were direct, they were hard to play against. And in the end, I'm sure they're in their dressing room thinking they could have won it. And we're in ours thinking we could have won it. And we both know that we could have lost it. So point may be fair based on those comments. Um, so, yeah, disappointing in, in a lot of different ways, but also a lot of positives that we can look at, certainly for those first 15 minutes. Had chances to, to kill the game off um, and then conceded late, similar to the Bolton game, I think, where we had the chances. In, in the short period of training between now and Monday's game, will, will there be a message along the lines of, of being more confident about taking those chances and, and doing what we can? No, the, me- the message will be about process. It'll be about what we want to get from this season, how we're going to achieve that and and how we're going to prepare for what's going to be a very, very difficult game. We know what Cheltenham are, we know where they are. They've had a really good result today away from home, so they'll be feeling confident about what they do. Um, We've got to stand up and really stand up and be counted physically because they're they're a tough team to play against like that. And then we've got to be brave to play. Um, So that is our process. Like I think in football too often, you know, uh, it's great when fans and, and people watching the game get caught up in the result and the table and that that's what you watch football for. But from our point of view as professionals who we need to build, we need to get better, we need to improve, it's process. So as far as I'm concerned now, the players need to be eating right, they need to be rehydrating, they need to be resting, they need to be getting ready for training tomorrow. We'll debrief the game um, fairly quickly because we're moving on fast. But we need to take the lessons, we need to get better. Um, and then we'll go into training with the group that need topping up to make sure that they're ready. The group that played most of the minutes will will do their recovery session and we'll start to introduce some of the, the stuff that they're going to expect against Cheltenham. Um, Sunday will be that final prep day where the, the team will be selected, the, um, the way we're going to go about it will be finalised and then we'll, we'll turn up and make sure that the lads stay in the moment, stay in what they can control and, and I think that's something that's difficult for young players, they're, they're emotional beings, you know, they, they want to do well, they want to celebrate with the crowd after the game but you can't get caught up in that in the first half, just keep doing what you were doing that went well, keep making good decisions keep doing positive actions that will lead to opportunities, that will lead to goals, that will lead to wins eventually so um, that's the, the message probably to the players as much as anybody else. That's what we're going to be trying to uh, achieve over the next couple of days. And it'll be another great game, I'm sure, in terms of big crowd, um, good atmosphere, lots to play for and, and not too far to travel. So I look forward to it. As you mentioned, uh, Cheltenham got that, a very big win for them away at Fleetwood. What do you make of the job that Darrell Clark's been doing since he came in? Because he, he certainly improved them. Yeah, you know, he's, he's got hold of a team that was struggling. He's given them a style. He's given them a way of doing things. He's committed to that, and so are the players. And, and that is always the way. You know, if it's one plan that everybody's behind and they're all giving it their all, then you have a chance. Um, and then it's a case of, you know, can they find enough over the games they've got left to to stay up? And it's tight down there. I think there's, there's any one of a fair few teams, you know, including us, that, that have to make sure that they get the job done to to stay where they need to be. So. Um, yeah, it's uh, well done to him, but hopefully we can uh, go up there and, and make sure we upset him on uh, on Monday. Finally, sold out away end, just under 1,500 City fans heading up there, and, and we know how important they are and the difference they can make. Yeah, you know, they've they've had a roller coaster of a season, the same as we have. They're, they're, I'm sure, feeling a little bit more positive right now. We need to make sure that we give them something to, to get behind. We need to make sure that we're out there and giving it everything. The, the, the fan base will forgive a lot if they can see the effort and the desire and the passion and the hunger and the stuff that, that means the most. And then from our point of view, we then want to show them the quality that we have done in, in parts over this season and, uh, and build on that.